Hi everybody, this is Ricky Martinez. I'm here to show you my karaoke CDG creator today. Uh, so this was made in C++ using Microsoft Visual Studio. Uh, pretty much my friend is a karaoke DJ and he was spending a lot of money buying karaoke tracks. Um, they go for like four or five dollars a pop on the market. Uh, and he was hoping to find something that was more cheap so I figured I would try to make him a karaoke maker. Um, so I did a lot of research figuring out what a CDG file actually was and how it works. So pretty much a CDG file is a file that um, you have your audio file that uses a, um, six of its eight bits, but there are actually eight bits. So two of the, I'm sorry, bytes <laughs> are not being used um, at a time. So as the CD spins around, every, every loop, there's, there's bytes that aren't being used. So what somebody did was they came up with a format that would fit into those two bytes that creates a video. Um, and the video is very small. It's about 48 by 50, I think, or something similar to that. Um, and you can only update a certain amount of information at a time because you're only able to pass in two bytes. Uh, so you have to do it in small amounts of so what the screen size being small helps with that. And um, the first thing I had to do for this project was I had to make my own text pretty much. So what I ended up doing was since you have that six by eight little um, boxes, I just ended up creating a, a alphabet that would fit in there. So everything is uh, it's capitalized and everything fits inside of those boxes. So it's kind of uniform. It actually worked out really nice. Um, I don't have things like apostrophes or commas because those would take up more than that box. And since that's the case, um, I couldn't, I didn't really want to do all the math to figure out how to squeeze everything in. So this was just real nice and easy. Um, as you see, this, this big block of numbers right here is just a, a manipulated bit field for each of the blocks, uh, six by eight. So that's how I created that. Um, and if I'll just take you through making an actual song. So the first thing you got to do is find a uh, instrumental or make your own instrumental, something that's legal, obviously. Um, and then you find the lyrics online. Um, just Google them and you put them in this little text file over here. Put them in this little text file right here in the lyrics text and that'll uh, populate it. And I automatically get rid of anything that's not in there that I'm not going to use. So in apostrophes or anything like that, I automatically parse through the text and I only use what I need to. So that way we can display exactly what we want to display. So then once you've done that, you need to figure out the length of the song. Um, I don't actually know how to get the length of the song programmatically. So I always just end up going and finding like a, a music player like iTunes or something and figure out the length of the song. And then just put that in right here. And then after that, you're good to go. So let's uh, press play and see what happens. So hopefully you can hear the song playing in the background. That's the song that you downloaded. This is an instrumental of When I Come Around. Uh, this is one song my friend needed. So I decided to make it more show more how to make it. So what I'm doing right now is I'm using the spacebar that's actually causing the letters to turn blue as I press them. So it automatically fits in the time scale for you so that way you can press the spacebar and not have to worry about anything else. Just the spacebar on each individual word. I'll show you what I mean now. Um, I've already done this song, so we can just go ahead and skip this part and go straight to the CDG player. Now CDG players are free. I didn't make one because they're all over the place. Um, you can get them anywhere. Uh, let me go ahead and open that real quick. Um, yeah, I should open that up. Yeah, work. Uh, as I said, they're, they're free. Um, they don't need you. You don't need to make one. You could make one if you wanted, and I could have since I've like already delved into the code of what a CDG was and figured out exactly how to use it. But this is the a CDG player that was free. It's called Karaoke Builder Player. Um, there's plenty of them online. Just Google it and you can find one. So that's the image of my friend. I uh, found a nice little image that was pixelated right there that I can throw up there at the beginning of every one of the songs. Um, and then this is the song playing. So as you can see, the words are the letters are white, 
and the background's blue, and then I fill it in with orange. I chose those colors, you can change it to whatever colors you want, I just really like those. And like I was saying, the, the letters are all capitalized, because that's, that's just how I figured I'd make the, uh, the alphabet, because it was easy for me to do. And that's pretty much it. Um, a lot of bit manipulation and understanding of a CDG file. But there you have it. Thank you.